Okay, guys, first step to create a parametric family is a uh, click on metric generic model. It's most basic uh, uh, start for creating this. So click here. Uh, most uh, used thing in a parametric refer uh, Revit family is uh, use reference plane in create reference plane. So uh, it will be attached, everything will be attached to the to those reference plans. So in the in the end it will and you can add parameter to that and it will be parametric after that. So let's try to uh, make uh, our family. So create a reference plane like this, like this, like this. We need to add dimension, uh, click on equalization uh, to be same uh, length uh, let's uh, put parameter here you can click it click it to create parameter uh, i will put a simple letter so it will be uh, really easy so it, it should be width but uh, let's stick with just one letter it will be uh, most it will be cleaner to see uh, after that in all parameters so okay and another one here let's create parameter like depth yeah okay go to family type here and you can see we have already here two parameters so click on uh, changes for normal number like um, 500 and this for 1000 yeah if you can see we are on a reference level so we are viewing uh, this from top but i want to go to front view because i want to create it uh, like from this uh, view again at reference plane here okay uh, let's add another one here you will see why okay we have I think maybe few all our reference planes for now okay go to create go to extrusion and let's make a bottom first so rectangle just click two points and now you can see four locks all locks need to be always if you want to attach to reference plane it should be always locked so now all four sides are locked okay go okay we need to go back to the top view and you can see we need attach this again so so again uh, you always need to try it if it's working working because you will uh, if something is, isn't working in the end it will be really hard to find it uh, which is a problem so I'm recommend to try this one uh, in uh, every few minutes so you will have uh, sure you will be sure if it's working well so go back to front view so we now have a bottom okay let's grenade another extrusion going like this again lock four locks All right go to reference level again lock the depth so it should be uh, I'm uh, just click uh, preview yeah so let's little move okay again you can see it's working yeah really well all right so back to the front view and uh, now I want to create uh, like uh, inside a hole inside this is bottom we can uh, we will explain it later so let's uh, go to this one and edit extrusion let's go to rectangle and offset 
for like I don't know 50 maybe click one uh, click a space bar it will be inside nice and we need to add a dimension so from reference plane not from this from a reference plane to edge one reference plane to reference plane to this and uh, and sorry reference plane to this okay we have four uh, dimensions create parameter that depth of inside okay click one uh, with uh, holding center la control one two three change it yeah Yeah, but you can see uh, now we have a problem because it's going through how, how to make it like uh, I don't want to have uh, to do it go through it's a uh, really easy steps but uh, let's back to this I need to delete this and but you can create it void void extrusion so it's same uh, steps sorry 50 same steps okay and again one two three four depth of inside all right so now we go here and you can see but uh, Again, we just have it uh, attached uh, from this uh, side. We need to go to top view, and you can see uh, we have this uh, not attached. So I want to have it a uh, hole go from here, and here will be a wall or shelf seal. So let's create a reference plane here, create dimension, and put a get depth of inside yeah and we need to attach to this yeah you just move it and uh, it will be it will show a uh, lock so again need to lock this up lock this up and this part we have already attached in front view yeah so now you can see we have uh, basic of uh, our uh, rabbit family so go to family types put it in a uh, little down so if I change it to 25 yeah you can see all all walls are now 25 millimeters so this is a basic and let's go to make uh, elements elementary steps uh, I uh, don't want uh, all in all time uh, to have sh uh, to show this uh, bottom so uh, you can click on a uh, bottom and uh, click here on visible associate with family parameter and create it create new you don't have to change anything for now uh, let's I already I want oh, to put it in visibility so bottom yeah so in family types in visibility you will have bottom now you if you choose this preview visibility on you can see if you change if you turn it off again family types yeah you can it will be hidden all right so go to front view again and we want to add parameter to this so another dimension here and another dimension here so um, okay I want to make this change because let's make it to bottom visibility name okay uh, edit parameter just here you can edit name anything you want okay so bottom visibility is changed 
Okay, let's create parameter to this and let's call it bottom. All right, and uh, this should be upper height. Yeah, make it more simple name so it will be clear in the end. Okay, so put it here. All right, so now if I change it like for 50 and 800, yeah, 50, 800. So, so uh, this is first step uh, how to create this kind of uh, Revit uh, family. So let's, uh, okay, thank you for this one and we will see in uh, part two. Thank you.